know when you're drowning, you don't actually inhale until right before you black out. The instinct to not let any water in is so strong that you won't open your mouth until you feel like your head's exploding. And when you finally do let it in, that's when it stops hurting. Yeah, aside from the not sleeping, the jumpiness, the constant, overwhelming, crushing fear that something terrible is about to happen. It's called hypervigilance. The persistent feeling of being under threat. It's not just a feeling, though. It's, it's like it's a panic attack. You know, like I can't even breathe. Like you're drowning? Yeah. So, if you're drowning, and you're trying to keep your mouth closed until that very last moment. But if you choose to not open your mouth, to not let the water in, you do anyway, it's a reflex. But if you hold off until that reflex kicks in, more time, right? Not much time. But more time to fight your way to the surface. I guess. More time to be rescued. More time to be in agonizing pain. Did you forget about the part where you feel like your head's exploding? If it's about survival, isn't a little agony worth it? I mean, what if it just gets worse? What if it's agony now and then? And it's just hell later on.